I met Carl Sagan when I was a postdoctoral fellow in the mid-80s. I was at a cocktail party at Carl Sagan's house, and Carl and Annie took me off in a corner and they said, Carl is writing a science fiction book. You may think you recognize someone in the book, but I think you're like her. And I'm reading it and I'm going, what? What? That's, that's me. So I was really taken aback. I said, look, here's, here's the deal. As long as she doesn't eat ice cream cones for lunch, nobody's going to think it's me. That was the thing that was sort of my most peculiar habit at the time. When Contact was turned into a film, I actually had a phenomenal opportunity to work a little with Jodie Foster. She wanted to do a very good job of portraying the scientist, particularly the female scientist, as a real human with passion, with obstinacy. She was a woman who was driven, who had a passion, who wanted to answer a question, and she would not give up. She's a fantastic role model for young girls because she actually has fun. And we usually forget to tell our young students. Being a scientist is a lot of work, but it's also wonderful fun. You get to solve puzzles, you get to figure out something that nobody else has figured out, and you never have to grow up. You never have to stop asking why. Young scientists, graduate students, come up to me and say, I got interested in science because of that movie. That's my favorite movie. And so I get to interact with folks who say, yep, contact. That's what did it for me.